All right, what is up, guys? I am back with a video about giving your trade a second chance. I know it's so frustrating when you hop into a trade, you get liquidated. I'm talking half of a half of a half pip, two pips, and then the trade ends up going in your direction. Um, although you can't prevent that all the time, obviously, there is a way to make sure that if your analysis is correct, if your zone is still holding, you got to give your trade a second chance. So if you're struggling with getting into a trade, losing the trade, and having to get right back into the trade, watch this video. You might learn something that'll help you out so it doesn't happen to you as often. Okay, guys, so here we are at a very first trade. We have a very valid demand sitting right here. We're only looking to buy the market for the day. And when we get down to an area of interest, the only thing we use for our entry is break of previous candle highs um, to get into the trade for a buy scenario. Okay. Um, so as soon as this candle breaks, we hop in, boom, which is right there, and immediately get taken out with the first candle. It's done. It's out of there. Okay, but something to be noted here, this zone, this area of interest is still holding. Now, we don't put our stops all the way to lows because we are looking for higher R to R. This is only a 1 to 1 1.4 versus here is a 1 to 2.5. Um, however, we have to understand that when we do get these aggressive entries like this, we sometimes have to get our trade a second chance as long as this zone is still holding here. Okay. Um, so we lost this trade. What happens? The zone is still holding. So if we were to break past previous candle highs again, we can give this trade one last chance um, before before giving up on it. Okay, and boom, look what happens. We break past previous candle highs here, put the stops in the same place, and we have our same target sitting up here, um, which even more are now, now a 1 to 4.23. And voila, what happens? We end up hitting full targets. Okay. Um, so I'm now going to go to the next example, but the, your analysis was correct. This demand was correct. You just ended up getting in too early because, again, we have very tight stop losses with my entry. So um, you guys need to make sure you're not afraid to get into the chance to give the trade a second chance um, because you could be missing out on exactly this sitting right here. So let's go ahead and go to the next example. Okay, so here is our next example right here. We have a nice juicy demand sitting down here. Um, we're just waiting for previous candle highs to break. And what happens? Um, we break them sitting right here. So we're in this trade. Um, we're chasing our next target, which is going to be, you know, obviously exiting the same way you enter. We got a demand sitting right here. We have to expect a reversal at this point. Um, and then obviously to continue higher past all this liquidity up to our final targets up here. So um, hop in. What happens? You get taken out. But look what's going on here. The zone is still holding. Your analysis is still valid. And I see a lot of people here, they get nervous, especially, you know, they already lost their first trade. It's like, man, I can't be 2% down for the day. I'm not going to take this trade. It happens a lot within the group. I do it myself sometimes when I'm on my third trade. As a matter of fact, just on just on Friday, I lost um, for one, one trade during London, my first trade for GU on Monday or um, during New York. And I was like, you know what? I'm not going to take a third trade. I'm not going to take the second chance. Um, capital preservation is key. And the damn thing took off. Some of my students took it and the rest is history. So um, trading at its finest. Um, but you have to give your trade a second chance. Obviously, I'm not perfect. I made a mistake there as well. Um, and I had to pay for it. Because here we are. As soon as previous candle breaks, you hop in. Hasn't broken yet. Boom. It breaks right there. So you hop in here. Put stops below the lowest wick of the zone. The zone is still holding. And then we can look to take uh, to taste higher profits and look what happens afterwards. The rest is history. We start to continue higher. Okay. So um, it, again, your guys's idea is not validated, is not invalidated. And now we're just ranging until this area is invalidated until we break past this entire zone your trade idea is still valid. So um, let's go ahead and do one more example here and then we'll wrap up this video. Make sure you stay tuned to the end of the video. I do have a little gem for you 
For those of you who have been following me and actually watching my videos to try to actually learn what I'm dropping down to you instead of just the entertainment side of everything that I do, um, I do want to reward you for that. I appreciate you watching everything that I'm putting down um, and I do look forward to your success. So um, I am going to be dropping a discount code. I'm just going to pop it up probably bottom right of the screen for like 20 seconds, the very end of the video for you guys. Um, Make sure you take opportunity of that. That'll be for lifetime. So when you do get signed up with that, um, price that will not switch to my higher price at any other time until you cancel and sign back up. So um, anyways, let's go ahead and get to this last example. So we got our last example sitting here on NAS, another beautiful demand sitting here. Um, we have a minor load to take out before coming down to our zone gap sitting before the zone 200 is way on our side here. So um, as soon as we come down, tap into the zone and we break past previous candle highs, we can hop into this trade. Uh, yeah, sitting right here. Boom, we in there. Clean reaction from the zone, showing we have orders sitting here and we're going to continue higher. Um, we're chasing highs for this trade because no supply is sitting in our way. And what happens? We get taken out. Okay? Now, the zone is still holding. So we're going to give it a second chance. As soon as we break past previous candle highs, we can go ahead and hop back in this trade. Okay? That started to happen right there. As soon as you broke past this candle highs, we can hop in this trade, put stop a little low. Um, target sitting up here for the first target. And the rest is history. Okay, so I just want to make sure you guys know, do not be scared. Trust your strategy. You've been back testing. You've been putting in all this work. You've been writing up all of this in your notebooks. Now it's time to apply in the real markets. Um, and if nothing is telling you that this trade is invalid, except that it took you out by a pip or two, how much did we get taken out with here? By two and a half pips, get back into that trade and, and trust your analysis. So um, that's it for the second chance video. I will see you guys next week on Saturday.